We convene this esteemed body today at a time of great crisis across America, a time of unprecedented challenges in this hallowed chamber, and a time when our most precious ally, Israel's very existence is under attack from forces of evil. Yesterday, our dear colleague, our former conference chair, our chair of energy and commerce, Kathy McMorris Rogers, nominated Mike Johnson in our conference. And she put it best, and I want to quote her today. She said, quote, trust has been broken and we have come to a standstill. How do we restore trust between members, leadership, and ultimately between Congress and we the people? Kathy went on to say, there's a sense that it cannot be business as usual. Jewel. She went on to note, above the speaker's chair in the House chamber is our nation's motto, in God we trust. <laughs> Ms. McMorris Rogers went on to say, the times in which we are living demand boldness, unity, and transformational leadership that begins with trust in God and each other. Trust is when the magic happens. In the story of King David, we are reminded that man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart." End quote. Today is the day that House Republicans will humbly look in our hearts and elect Mike Johnson as Speaker of the People's House. A man of deep faith, Mike epitomizes what it means to be a servant leader. A deeply respected constitutional lawyer, Mike has dedicated his life to preserving America's great principles of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Mike is a titan on the Judiciary Committee and a dedicated member of the House Armed Services Committee. And as vice chair of our conference, he has united all of our members to speak clearly and boldly on behalf of the American people. A friend to all and an enemy to none, Mike is strong, tough, and fair. And above all, Mike is kind. And at this very moment, this Republican conference knows that we live in perilous times and the American people are hurting. Families are struggling under the pain of inflation caused by reckless far-left spending, unable to afford groceries, heat, or gas. We have an inhumane open border with millions illegally smuggled and trafficked, and tens of thousands of children lost in the chasm of the incompetence and negligence of the Biden administration. Israel is under attack by Iranian-backed Hamas terrorists committing atrocities with Israelis suffering the bloodiest days in modern memory. Crime is skyrocketing on our streets while there are vicious calls from the left to defund our great men and women in blue. American energy production American energy production has been crushed by Joe Biden's radical failed far-left Democrat policies, causing seniors, farmers, and families to pay more at the pump. And Americans fundamentally understand that the federal government has been illegally weaponized against we the people, shredding the Constitution, targeting conservatives, Yes, I'll say it again. The federal government has been illegally weaponized against we the people, shredding the Constitution, targeting conservatives, parents, and even Joe Biden's top political opponent. The people are looking to this great chamber to save America, and save America we will. <laughs> As 
we embark on the path ahead, I am reminded of Galatians 6, 9. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. House Republicans and Speaker Mike Johnson will never give up. Today is the day we get this done. May God bless our next Speaker Mike Johnson. May God bless the United States of America. And I yield back.